Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about how to Bluetooth your controller to your PC. Now it's a really good thing to do if you're sort of new to PC gaming and you've been used to one of these, um, whether it be Xbox or, or, or PlayStation sort of controllers, which obviously you'd be used to playing. When you go to a keyboard it can be very confusing. So. What I did and what I've, I found is I connected my Bluetooth controller to my gaming PC. Now, to start off with, it was, it was very laggy. Um, and the reason for that is because, one, I didn't have the right USB um, Bluetooth dongle. Now, the one I've got now is a one of these, which you stick into your USB slot. Now... I also put it in a 2.0 slot. Now this is a Bluetooth 4.0. Now if you stick it in a 3.0, it's there's barely any lag. I mean, it, it's unnoticeable. So when you do get one, and I've got one of these in the link below, then get the 4.0 and make sure you put it into your USB 3.0 on your on your desktop PC, um, and that will completely pretty much eliminate lag. Now when to know if your computer or PC has got Bluetooth, if you go into your settings and just type in Bluetooth, you'll get to this page here. Now on here, there's no on or off button. Now that means that you don't, your system doesn't have a Bluetooth um, system. So like I said, just buy one of these. Again, I've got the link below and pop it into your 3.0 slot, which I'm going to do now. And we'll go through the setup together so that's now plugged in and now you can see it shows on so all you do then is you grab your controller this is an Xbox one controller add Bluetooth or other device now it's quite confused it says like wireless controller and stuff like that but if you just go just click on Bluetooth because it's going through the USB port and then turn on your controller and then with the Xbox you can type at the top to scan for device nice and easy that should discover it in this there we go and Xbox wireless controller so if you click on that and there you go it's now saying that it's all set up now I'm going to show you the, because again it's in a 3.0 slot, I'm going to show you on this game just so you can kind of see sort of there ain't much lag on it. So um, in fact I can't really tell. So I've got the Marvel Avengers game, so if I put it up and press go it automatically, but it's very responsive, next to no lag, jump, jump, as soon as I press it as you can see punch, you know, hit, whatever, it, it's really good. So it's as easy as that really, so just make sure you put it into the right slot onto your USB slot, so it's a 3.0 rather than the 2.0, because if I put it in the 2.0 you will notice quite a bit of lag, um, and it's as easy as that, and then you can enjoy playing your PC games with your Xbox or PS5 remote. So there we are. If you have any questions or if you did enjoy the video or you felt it useful then please hit that subscribe button and hit a like. I'd really appreciate it and appreciate the, con uh, the feedback and um, there will be more to come so please hit that subscribe button. Many thanks.